Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've made this small video to give postgraduates in OBG a general idea of what career options are there after postgraduation in OBG. So the saying that OBG is no longer a terminal branch has become an old now. Just like medicine and surgery, you're also supposed to do some kind of sub subspecialization degree in obstetrics gynecology also. Apart from being able to practice general OBG, you should be able to practice one of these, either gynecologic oncology, reproductive medicine, maternal fetal medicine, and or, or, you know, along with all these, you should also have a good idea of endoscopic surgeries, laparoscopies and hysteroscopies. So in this video, I'll give you an idea of how to go about with pursuing these. There are various courses available in India. There are fellowships, there are, there are MCH degrees, DNBSS degrees, FNV degrees. Uh, the easiest way to pursue one of these super specialty courses is to take one of the national level entrance exams. Uh, which are NEET SS, FET, INI SSET. These are all uh, once a year or two, twice a year exams. You can fill the forms through NADBOARD sites and you can appear for the exams. We'll discuss about all of these exams one by one. Talking of NEET SS, it's a once a year exam with 150 questions. If you qualify this MCQ based exam, you can apply for a seat in MCH in gynecologic oncology or reproductive medicine at various institutes in the country. The exam, as I said, is an MCQ based exam. It is one paper for both the fields, which means whether you want oncology or you want reproductive medicine, you have to do the same preparation. It's only after result that you can decide which college or which subject you want to uh, opt for, just like your pre-PG entrance tests. According to the brochure, the exam consists of 150 questions from general OBG. It's not uh, like earlier, unlike earlier, it's not divided into what number of questions will come from each subspeciality. They've just said that 150 questions from general OBG covering the subspecialities of reproductive medicine, fetal medicine, uh, not much on fetal medicine, covering the subspecialities of reproductive medicine and gynecologic oncology will be there. So accordingly, this year's paper, there was a, uh, you know, vast difference from what was asked in the previous papers. The previous papers were focused on uh, theoretic questions in reproductive medicine and gynecologic oncology. This year it was very clinical and it was truly exit level OBG paper only. So that's about NEAT SS. And then the next exam you have is FET, Fellowship Entrance Test. Uh, if, you qualify, uh, if you qualify this exam, you are eligible for seats in FNB in reproductive medicine and maternal fetal medicine. The, these are two-year courses, unlike the MCH courses, which are three-year courses. So uh, FNB is two-year course, through uh, which is approved by NAT board. It is fellowship in national board. So here, you again, you have one paper for both the fields. There are 100 questions, and here they have divided it. They've said that there'll be 40 questions from general OBG, 30 questions from reproductive medicine, and 30 questions from maternal fetal medicine. So this is how this year's paper was like. There were questions in reproductive medicine and fetal, maternal fetal medicine also. So uh, again, whether you want reproductive medicine or maternal fetal medicine, you have to do the same preparation. It is only after, after the result that you will be able to decide because there is one paper for both the subspecialities. That's about FET exam. Uh, 100 questions are there, around 700 to 800 students take this exam every year. So there's not much competition if you read, there's a very high possibility that you will get through. Then you have the INI SSET exam. Uh, INI stands for Institutes of National Importance. Uh, institutional uh, Institutes of National Importance would be JIPMA, PGI, I think PGI is also there in it, uh, AIMS, uh, all these institutes. But currently, the seats in reproductive medicine and gynecologic oncology are only there at AIMS. So for INI SSET, for qualifying for a seat at AIMS, MCH in gynecologic oncology or DM in reproductive medicine, you have to take this INI SSET exam, which is a two-stage exam. Stage one is MCQ-based exam. There are going to be 80 questions. And here, the syllabus is more manageable because there are two papers for the two fields. For gynecologic oncology, you will get 80 MCQs of, out of which 10 to 20 will be from uh, general OBG and the remaining from gynecologic oncology. And for reproductive medicine, those 10 to, 20, 10 to 20 questions from general OBG will be same and the remaining will be from reproductive medicine. This is the stage one. If you qualify stage one, you will be called for the stage two, which is departmental assessment. So this is where students from AIMS have a higher chance because it is like an internal exam for them. Uh, they know the ways of their teachers. They know what research is going on. 
and also the teachers know them well they know how what is the potential that this student has so uh, through the years it has been easier for people from aims to qualify for aims exams aim dm and aims mchc seats but um, you know contrary to this very uh, popular belief this year's topper was actually not from aims had never been to aims she was an ardent student of reprenate learning she had got such good marks in the theory paper the mcq paper that despite her departmental assessment being not so good she still got rank 1 and she had 10 marks more than what the second ranker had scored so um, if you are a student of aims yes this is the exam that you have to aim for if you are not and if you are confident you are still confident of your subject the subject that you want to choose then uh, it is good to give it a try give uh, this exam also a try also uh, if you are not very sure that you will get a seat this exam is a good practice exam it's a twice a year exam gives you good practice prepares you well it's like a nationwide mock test that you can have so these are the three exams that you can take there are also other exams which Uh, institutes themselves conduct like there are fetal medicine fellowships for which you will have to now this needs a lot of uh, research work to be done on your part to find out which all exams are there there's an exam uh, conducted by jipmer also for fellowship in gynecology oncology so uh, there are a lot of such exams there are fellowships provided by hospitals which we cannot discuss now i don't have much idea of those sources what i have is the idea of the simplest way to do a super speciality course which is these exams neat ss fet and iniset so uh, that's about those exams apart from that since we are discussing about careers in obg i would also like to highlight that endoscopy is a very important field in gynecology um, obstetrics and gynecology and whether you do sub specialization in oncology reproductive medicine or maternal fetal medicine you should still be able to do laparoscopic surgeries and hysteroscopies so now when you decide that whether you want to take one of these branches also have a plan of how you're going to learn laparoscopy uh, you know what happens is when you start practicing it is very difficult to explain to a patient that yes i am a obstetrician gynecologist but i don't know how to do laparoscopic hysterectomies so i did uh, i learned laparoscopy a fair bit of it from uh, during my fellowship days at gangaram also during my sr ship days i had a good exposure at uh, gmcs chandigarh so that is how i've been able to manage doing hysteroscopies uh, and laparoscopies in my own patients i've been doing hysterectomies myomectomies everything uh, it's not about me it's about what the you know market is like what the competition is like you have to know your sub specialty you have to know basic obg and you have to know laparoscopies uh, feels like urogynecology are an add on and uh, nowadays cosmetic gynecology diplomas of a few days are also available so that's uh, all about uh, you know information on careers in obg Thank you so much.